Chris Slopes, a new approach to scoliosis radiographic measurement and evaluation related to the horizontal plane in the bottom of the reading. Thank you. Uh, the SRS first and then also to sort of recognize uh, that uh, in, exist uh, a global and a spinal view that are different. In the spinal view, it is usually used uh, when we evaluate radiographs, uh, is different from the uh, bodily one. Uh, recently, looking at the sagittal plane, some bodily view have been introduced when we look at the pelvic parameters uh, and uh, except the bodily view would, it means looking at how the uh, spine change according to the gravity line. And uh, what, what we do in the frontal plane, we are just looking at the radiograph, but if you look at these uh, curves that would be quite similar in terms of degree, even if one is in the reverse of the other two, you can see that there is a difference of inclination of the curve with respect to the gravity line. And uh, uh, this is not usually taken into account. We just measure the uh, cop degree. We do not check how, where it, the cop degree inclination is mostly located. So we introduce here the concept of slope. Slope is the inclination of the most flexed uh, end vertebra with respect to the horizontal line. And is, uh, is not the cop degree. It is this, the inclination. And the two inclination, the sum of the two inclinations give uh, the cop degree. It's exactly the same thing, but we, we introduce the information coming from the horizontal line. So if you look at these three, you can see that here the slope is much less than here, here the slopes are quite similar, here the slope is much higher here than here. And what does it mean this? I think it means something. Uh, so we, we aim, we start to check the relationship between slopes and cop degrees and this responsibility classification. It was a cross-sectional study. We used the entire database of our school to create radiographs, uh, photographs. Uh, four of four were randomly chosen. In reality, all the, all the 1,000 are measured by three observers, but uh, this is just a presentation of the first observer because we are doing a much greater study, just to check if there is something there. Six have been excluded because of low quality images, the 398 measure. We measure the slopes at one S1, the end vertebrae, and we consider main or secondary slope according to a difference of five degrees. Usually with cop degrees, we use 10 degrees difference to differentiate main and secondary curves. So the difference between the slopes of the same curve on average in this sample was 4.3 degrees with a range between zero and 19. And the caudal slopes are usually higher than the, um, uh, the cranial slopes. This is true uh, for sure for thoracic lumbar. It is not true for the lumbar curves. And in thoracic proximal, we have few numbers. So with increased number, presumably, we will reach the statistical significance. significance. The difference between the slopes of the same curve increase cranially. So in the thoracic proximal curves, this is uh, no difference between below uh, 5 degrees, these are more than 5 degrees differences, and as you can see, the difference increased uh, uh, cranial. The slope localization is not really important. What is interesting is uh, we should have two slopes for each curve, uh, two main slopes for each curve, but if we look at the uh, number of uh, slopes we can see. Uh, it is not so uh, an even distribution. So uh, a single curve has double slope in our sample in 65% of cases, but in 35% there is only one single slope. In double curves, you can have triple, double, double but also just a single slope. One, only one slope is important more than the other two. And this is the situation in triple curves. In conclusion, the same curve the inclination of the two end vertebrae is not similar. This is the first time introducing the concept of slopes. Uh, how to act on the two slopes? For us in racing, it is crucial to focus on the most inclined vertebrae and to work mainly on that. So this concept comes from uh, conservative treatment because during conservative treatment we need to focus on that. But is there any etiologic or pronostic role of this?
this concept of slope, we do not know and we should defend more this concept. And thank you very much for your attention.